Welcome to another episode of Sanford Says. I'm Lisa Holder, Chief Communications and Cultural Affairs Administrator for the City of Sanford, and we have a great topic today. We're talking about the newly formed Sanford Cultural Guild, and today our f the founders of Sanford Cultural Guild are here with us, Robin Thyssen. Hi, Robin. Hi. And Caroline Garcia. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Lisa. No, no stranger to the podcast, <laughs> right? <laughs> you guys <are> different. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you have a third person, Sarah Clore. Yes. yes. And she she's not be here today. She's not here today. But um, you reached out, and uh, we find this very interesting. Of course, the community and the residents that want to help and improve and enhance Sanford, and you're doing this as all volunteers, yes. and we'd like to know more about the Sanford Cultural Guild and um, what your mission is and what you hope to accomplish and all of that. So, Absolutely. Want to start? Um, we thought it might be a good place to start to talk about the Garden Tour, which is our main event and how it came to be, and I'll turn that over to Robin. She's a fourth. Uh, fourth generation Sanfordite, Sanfordian. Yes. Is that yes. right? Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> There's so. a lot of those fourth and fifth generation people in the city. Yes. 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 So longtime Sanford resident Sarah Miller started the garden tour some 20 odd years ago and I volunteered on it and it was an absolutely wonderful event. Um, I was so happy and engaged with the gardens and people loved it. So three years ago, I talked to Caroline about bringing it back. So under the Sanford Historic Trust, uh, we brought Garden Tour back three years ago and yeah. we did it again last year. And this year we will be hosting the Garden Tour under our new nonprofit, Sanford Cultural Guild. Wonderful, and I mean, I, I've heard such wonderful things about the Garden Tour, and, and Thank you, you. you'll share some more about it and how people can Absolutely. get yes. involved. And, yeah. and okay. since we brought it back, um, so 2021, we were just coming off of COVID, and um, I was still a board member on the Sanford Historic Trust, um, who were doing wonderful things as a nonprofit, and that was an eye-opener as to indoor events, not, not necessarily needing to diversify. Um, so Robin had this um, concept of bringing back the garden tour, and it was wonderful success. Um, last year, we sold over 800 tickets. Yeah. Wow, um, that's so it, a... it's getting bigger and bigger yes. every year. Yeah. yeah, and so you can s explain what that is exactly. What is the garden tour? So right? You what, are, what do you uh, do with the fifteen dollar ticket? Um, you tour private gardens um, in the historic district, and a few in this year's uh, instance, a few outside of the historic district. Um, but all very different and unique gardens throughout downtown Sanford. Um, we also have other aspects to the event that I'll, I'll right. discuss in just a bit. Um, but we, as a new nonprofit, I, I think I should start by just talking about who we are as the Sanford Cultural Guild. Um, so our mission is to enhance the artistic and cultural significance of Sanford through valuable events and beautification projects. Um, not necessarily landscape only, but just to continue to make Sanford look more beautiful. And so many things are being done, initiatives throughout the city and other nonprofits. And we thought taking the funds from what we raise via garden tour and applying them in, in different um, aspects throughout, throughout the city and how we could you know, continue to be involved in making Sanford even more beautiful than it already is. So right. um, it could also pr uh, relate to a mural um, right. and, and s supporting that. Um, but we're open to listening to the community and hearing what else they wanna see. Um, our short-term projects uh, include an alleyway beautification initiative uh, I'm not throwing stones because my alleyway is by no means <laughs> in, uh, in great condition. Um, they are part of our property as anyone who, even outside of the district, uh, folks in Stanford Heights and elsewhere have alleyways. Um, I think that they can be forgotten, but having some landscape back there that is drought tolerant, obviously mm -hmm. most of us don't have irrigation, but it would be a way to enhance the, that part of the downtown, um, as well as provide pollinator plants and how do we also help in an urban setting, how do we help 
um, cultivate more pollinators, especially as we're a pollinator city now. Right. And so monarch butterfly that, city yes. too. Yeah. Native yes, plants. like mon- monarch uh, monarch city. So yeah, um, that is one of our short term goals, and in the coming at uh, 2024, we'll be working on that, um, looking to partner with a nursery and try to offer some folks some discounts and also maybe some seeds and. Uh, we're we're still in the works as to what exactly we want to offer, but that will be one of our first bigger projects is the alleyway beautification. Yeah. Um, we also have heard from other folks that have kind of helped us um, get get off the ground. But for example, George Tuey Park, um, those are all historic trees brought in from orchards of of historical significance mm-hmm. in other parts of the country. And in some cases, they're not doing the best, probably because they weren't intended to grow in Florida. Um, so we feel that hiring um, an arborist that could come in and assess these trees, help us figure out what, if anything, can be done. So that's just a few examples of year to year how we would like to contribute. Um, and again, also from an artistic standpoint, mm-hmm. mural installations and partnering with the city yeah. is also something we've considered. Um, our long-term goal, and this is, is in the very early stages with the city, is a botanical garden um, in conjunction with the Sanford Museum. And I'll let Robin share a little bit more about that. Yeah. So the Sanford Museum is at the site of Henry Sanford's original test gardens. He brought thousands of plants right here to Sanford and tested them, those that worked in the area in our climate and those that did not. And all that information is at the University of Florida. So it seemed appropriate that a botanical garden largely dedicated to this idea would be at the Sanford Museum. So we are partnering with the city. It's a long-term goal. There's many components to it. We hope to have native plant gardens um, and highlight other other things and really make bring something to the community. Mm-hmm. Um, and also to enhance the museum, we, we think that down the road, if, if we did develop a botanical garden, that maybe it could lead to the museum having a charge for entry, $5, yeah. but something that could, could support the museum. Yeah. Um, and another added component to the educational part of the museum mm-hmm. is that, you know, school groups and everything, kids could really learn about our local history and... Right. Yeah, and I was going to say, for those that may not know, Henry Sanford is the city's founder. Let's just put that yeah, note yeah. in there because <laughs> yes. he's not just some and guy. He, yeah. he's a, I guess I take that for granted. Yeah, yeah. no, but no, we, and so we have to think about that. But yes, this is, so that sounds wonderful when I, I mean, for a botanical, no, can you tell me what a botanical garden is versus a regular garden? Like, what is the difference? Well, I, you know? I think on a not quite a grand a scale, if you think Lou Gardens uh, yeah. need botanical gardens. So it's a, all in, it's a huge garden open to the public for viewing that will have a, a wide variety of plants. Oh, so okay. like we will have feature Florida native plants yeah. from Florida Native Plant Society. Those plants that Henry Sanford brought here that did well, you know, labeled. Um, a memory garden. We may have a shade garden. Nice. We may have a rose garden. So yeah. it's kind of different rooms of different gardens zones. and different zones. That and beautiful. And as far as maintenance goes, um, partnering with master gardeners, they need volunteer hours. So it it could work as as an even mm-hmm. trade. We need these plants that we yes. don't. You know, we need to. We need the education right. in order yeah. to maintain them. Yeah. Garden um, clubs. They need the hours, and so we feel that that would be a, a very good solution for how we yeah. continue to maintain the botanical garden. It's just such a wonderful added component to what we have going on here in Sanford. It it's is. like yeah, it's yeah. just. Uh, I mean, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it just is another layer of how awesome exactly. the city can be is is through through nature and and gardening and all of that. So and that's the city is uh, willingly and generously offered to you know, the green space in between Fort Mellon Park and the museum, a portion of that would be set aside for this Mm -hmm. project. So again, our our very long-term goal, but we're very excited and um, that's something that kind of keeps us going in the, in the depths of garden tour planning, (laughs) um, which I can now discuss a little bit. So uh, mark your calendars for Saturday, May 6th from 10 to 4. 
Um, we have 13 private gardens on, on this year's tour, in addition to the community garden, um, which is also private. You have to be a member right. to enter. So I was you'll, you'll going to ask you tour. about that. Yes. Stanford's on 18th Street, <clears throat> on right? On 18th, so yes. that's yeah. included. We partner with them every year and love to have their, um, their support. Um, this year they will be passing out seeds, and they also have educators, local educators, who specialize in vegetables and edible edible um, gardening. Right. So they will be here to answer, or there, to answer any questions. Okay. Um, so I mentioned the date, time. Um, tickets you can purchase on Eventbrite. Um, follow us on social media, either Facebook or Instagram, Sanford Cultural Guild, and that will, uh, you'll be able through that platform to find our Eventbrite um, ticket link. If you also search on Eventbrite for the 2023 Sanford Historic Garden Tour, you may find it there as well. Um, tickets are $15 per person. And we would love to thank Commissioner Sheena Britton and Commissioner Patty Mahaney um, for sponsoring this year's garden tour. Um, we are so thankful and appreciative of the city's support, continued support. Um, Robin, what other events are we yeah. are we up to this year? So this year, uh, coming up in the fall, we have our first, hopefully, annual uh, tea that we will be hosting. We are also hosting the Ikebana International's uh, yearly exhibit. That has been hosted by Lou Gardens for probably 30 years, and this year it will be in the city of Sanford, hosted oh, by the Sanford Cultural Guild. That's awesome. Explain, repeat that again. Yeah, What's tell that? us about Ikebana. Ikebana is the... I didn't know. I, the, <laughs> like that, I said, Robin, what is that? <laughs> it has nothing to do with that Charles Dickens character. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> is the art of Japanese flower arranging. So it is a very oh. precise way of flower arranging and nice. it is very beautiful. There's components to it and every year it's very big mm -hmm. uh, in Central Florida. It was actually brought here from Japan about 55 years ago. In fact, they have their 55th anniversary they celebrate this year. And so they do an exhibit every year for people to come and see what Ikebana is all about and look at the beautiful exhibits and this year it will be in Sanford. That's wonderful news. Yes, yes. we're very excited, we're very about, excited that. about In the that. fall, so we'll yes. hear yes. more yes. about that. will be October. Okay. Yeah, we'll yes. start to get some postings out yes. um, following Garden Tour. Well, I mean, it's no wonder you ladies have done some incredible work with the historic Sanford Historic Trust and so Thank bringing you. those um, creativity and that thought and the leadership and everything to this is, it sounds really yeah, wonderful. we're really grateful Thank and, you. and the trust was supportive. Um, they are doing some really great initiative. They have a grant program at the moment, obviously continuing the tour of homes and have some wonderful projects that they're taking on. Um, I think that from their perspective, continuing the event under their umbrella was lacking in, in manpower because let's face it, it takes a lot to put these events on year after year. Um, and so with their blessing, you know, it, it seemed really appropriate for us to continue this under our new nonprofit and be able to to focus and then reinvest the funds into great Sanford. now can people join your nonprofit is there a membership fee yeah, so yes, you do can. not need to be a member however we are so welcoming and encouraging of folks to become what we're referring to as a friend of the guild um, that's a 30 dollar per year membership you get discounted tickets for our events including the garden tour and you will also receive a quarterly newsletter um, we think it's important so we are a nonprofit, and we are going to reinvest the funds raised back into Sanford. And we think that a quarterly newsletter is the best way to um, maintain accountability with our with our community and our supporters, um, letting them know these are the funds raised, this is where it's going, this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and so again, a friend of the guild, uh, thirty dollars per year. Um, and also, I invite anyone to follow us on social media. Again, that's Sanford Cultural Guild on either Facebook or Instagram. Um, we're posting as much as we can to remind folks. And then just to kind of circle back to the garden tour and some other uh, aspects of the event that we have. Um, we have a uh, gallery on first organizes every year some plein air artists for us. Mm -hmm. So we have nine artists this year. Um, that will be located in the gardens throughout nice. the garden tour. Um, so you'll be able to observe them painting. Beautiful. And then we also have a silent auction um, 
pre pre finished artwork either by the plein air artists that are participating and also <laughs> other art artists of Gallery on First. Yeah. So that will be in Centennial Park. Um, there's a lot going on <laughs> in Centennial Park for the garden tour. The where that's where the gazebo is across from yes. Betty Smith Cultural exactly. Arts. Yes. So and and Betty Smith Cultural Arts is our headquarters. So oh, okay. and, and that will be true year after year. Um, we, right. we plan to invest. In fact, Robin is a member of the Exora Garden Club. And they just assisted the city of Sanford with redoing the landscaping in front of the Cultural Arts Center. Um, so year after year, we are going to make the Cultural Arts Center our headquarters. Nice. Um, it works so well for our for our purpose. Um, so when you pre-purchase tickets on Eventbrite, you go to the Cultural Arts Center to pick up. If you're purchasing day of tickets, that's where you go to purchase your ticket. Okay. Um, we also have a tea lunch available, and George's Catering of Winter Park is putting together our tea lunches this year. Um, so you may purchase that on Eventbrite. That is only available for pe- for pre-purchase. So okay. I encourage folks, if you want one of George's delicious tea lunches, go ahead and pre-purchase that so that it's reserved. Um, okay. But you would also pick up your lunch at the Cultural Arts Center. Is this the same, you're talking the same day as yes. May 6th? Okay. Yep. So that's okay. where you pick up your tickets, you can pick up your tea lunch. Um, we also have the Historical Rose Society and yeah. the uh, uh, Orchid, Orchid Society. Society. Greater Orlando Orchid Society will be there with displays as well. Yeah, okay. Their plants can be a little temperamental, so they need air conditioning. Yeah, so I see. Inside. <laughs> now, there's a, is there ability to purchase plants and things yes so right across the street in centennial park where i just mentioned the silent auction taking place okay we will have a plant sale and then a vendor market so we've secured wonderful local vendors offering tons of different items mother's day is the following weekend right so this is a great either a great gift to bring your mom on the garden tour or get get her something locally made support local pick something up in our vendor market or our plant sale and give it to her the following weekend. Yeah. Um, so the silent auction, plant sale, vendor market are all happening in Centennial Park. And then what educators do we have? Robin is in charge of our educator component and we have so many wonderful local resources this so year. So part of Garden Tour also is educating people. Yeah. So we have uh, bee specialists that will be there to educate about the bees. We have the Florida Bat Conservancy. Oh, okay. She's have, also selling bat houses. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because we do, I mean, we do have bats in this we, area. We have oh, a and lot they're of, so beneficial. Yes, yes they're yeah. very pop beneficial. A, pop a bat house up and keep them out of your home, yes. but, yeah. you know, they'll eat all your insects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the mosquitoes. Yes. We like that in Florida. Yes, yes. We, we have Bear Warriors, who's an educator about how to handle the bear oh, yeah. crisis that we are having, the so bear population. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Pollinator. We have a butterfly, yep. local butterfly Butterfly educator. educators. We have cool. edible landscape from Orlando that teaches you how to landscape with edibles in your yard. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it sounds like to me, this is a great family event. Oh, right. We, we strongly encourage, encourage. coming family. Kids. And three and under are free. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, what a great thing to bring your yeah. kids to. Bring your bikes, your golf yes. cart. You can drive. So it is self-guided. Um, when you come to Cultural Arts and pick up your map, even if you pre-purchase your tickets, you still need to come there to check in, get your wristbands for access to the private gardens, and then get your map. Okay. Um, and we have organized it in, in a specific route. Um, so you can go through the stops, um, but it is self-guided. So you can stay for as little or as long in each garden as you would like. Now you said you had how many, 13 gardens? 13 gardens, t- including the community the community garden. Yeah, this okay. is a very big tour this year. Yeah. <laughs> now let me ask you, so for those of us who love to walk with our dogs, mm-hmm. now are these in the front of people's houses or should you keep your, you know, so, what do you no, think we, about that? We can't prob- allow pets in the backyard. Oh, right. Certainly okay. if you want to bring your pet, um, some folks take, take turns. So especially right. if you're walking, this mm-hmm. would be, in my opinion, the 13 stops because we have two outside of of the historic right. district it would be a little much you'd get your much. exercise yeah. get your yeah. steps. it's gonna be a long walk um a to lot the, of it yeah. is walkable yeah but i would certainly recommend bringing a bicycle golf cart or car okay um but you're more than welcome to take turns if you want to leave your your right. furry friend in the golf cart right and um we've even done that with the kids sometimes yeah. towards the end of the, towards the end of the tour, tour yeah. they're just like too tired and so right. my husband right. i'm like i'll stay in the golf cart yeah, with you another person yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 sorry i'm yeah. not alone one of us remains with the children okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, I should have specified that. <laughs> well, okay. So this is really just something. I mean, I'm super impressed. I know Thank that you. you yeah, yeah, I think we love putting this on, and so our educators are a huge component. Um, really, the support of, like, for example, La Gallery on First has helped us oh. accomplish with their talent. Um, are we? For, I feel like we're forgetting some sort of component. The vendor market, plant sale. We will have some musicians. Oh yes. yeah, was, yeah, okay, yes, of we course. Will have yeah, some we have musicians. musicians, and each garden has a sponsor this year. So we've organized it. We have so. I mean, our our, our title sponsor is Thomas Moreno. Um, they're a, have been a longtime supporter of the yeah. garden tour. They did the beautiful rose garden last year in oh, Centennial okay. Park. So they're our title sponsor this year, and then each garden has its own sponsor and we are very grateful to um every single sponsor is a locally owned business and oh. we just feel the love and support from our community so just it wasn't just the three of you ladies putting this on you've got to have like a whole <laughs> um, committee of people sure. right honestly we have a committee <laughs> lead uh we've had a lot of help from folks for example um barry and debbie kirsch uh have been on the garden tour every year mm -hmm. Bar barry is a master gardener <laughs> um they have assisted us in ho hosting a mixer in February that was able, we were able to invite um, folks that have helped us in the past, either yeah. by being on the tour or helping us in a volunteer capacity. Kind of introduce ourselves. Introducing and, ourselves yeah. to our new nonprofit and just to let folks know what, we're, what we've been up to. Yeah. Um, yeah. We wanted to try to keep things under wraps until we were officially an established nonprofit and right. legitimate and in yeah. all the ways um, in which we needed to be. This yes. is great. So um, we are very grateful for their support. Um, and Sherry Wysong is handling volunteers for us, and that's major. That's yes. a huge undertaking. Thank yeah. you, Sherry, for yes, listening. Yes, thank you, oh, Sherry, so um, very much. And that yeah. also I should mention. So we do need volunteers. Uh, it involves being a docent at the gardens, which basically means you check wristbands, you greet people, you kind of guide traffic flow. Um, if you volunteer for three hours, you receive a free ticket to the garden tour. Um, that link for sign up can also be found on our social media pages. So if you're interested um, in supporting us and, and maybe don't want to commit to the $30 friend of the guild. This is a way that honestly we need it just as much as yes. we need yeah. monetary donations. We need human bodies to yeah. help us um, on yeah. event day. So keep that in mind. Yeah. And I think it's just, it fits perfectly with Sanford's backdrop, especially in the historic district to have a garden tour. It's just like oh, a no brainer. Yeah. It, it just, it, you yeah. know, just like everything else that we do right down there in that yeah. area. But I mean, the whole city, you, you're not just focusing on No, we're not. Overall. We're not focusing on the right? historic district. Yeah. I, we, we say downtown Sanford, but we Want, would love to partnership partner with Goldsboro in the future, mm -hmm. maybe the Goldsboro M Museum. Um, we absolutely are, we want to support and uplift Sanford as a whole. Right, um, yes. And so as we, we are really just, we're continuing to do what we know how to do. Right. And that's yeah. put on a great right. Right. <laughs> garden tour. Um, and now that we are a legitimate nonprofit, you know, we're really considering all the ways in right. which we can help. And we're in this for the long haul. I mean, we, we are very committed to this project. <laughs> yes. yeah. um, the three of us work well together. We're friends outside of this. Yeah. And that makes a big difference. It sure does. you need to really like who you're yes, working yeah. with. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so you all are longtime residents. And even, you know, Ms. Sherry Wysong and mm -hmm. everybody that you mentioned here. And so it's it the city couldn't thrive the way we do without the the private sector and the residents helping Absolutely. and to do and, this and, we can't know, do it I'm, on our own I, i'm a realtor and so i do sell houses in in the area and people are just as excited about what's behind the gate as much as they are what's behind the front door yeah yes. all of these gardens and even some of the ones that i hadn't seen until we recruited them for this year they have so much personality yeah. and are so are so unique to their owners and to the style of home um, and we would just love to show that off. Yeah, that's wonderful. So we want people that are listening that are not and from Sanford. You know, everybody knows how wonderful yeah, Sanford I know, is. Yeah. <laughs> come buy your tickets. Come see the city. Come visit and then go downtown, have a bite to eat or something like that. Um, but, yeah, this is Saturday that you want to definitely get, get yep, here. Saturday, May 6th, uh, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. All right. And uh, any last words? Um, no. Find us on social media, <laughs> yes. Sanford Cultural Guild. And uh, we'll see you Saturday, May 6th yep. for the garden tour.
Thank you. Thank you so much, Robin and Caroline, for being on the show. This is, like I said, super awesome, and we'll continue to help promote the the, the Guild, and um, thank you for your efforts. Thank you, thank you so Thanks much for having, for having us. us. Yes. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. You're welcome. This is Lisa Holder, Chief Communications and Cultural Affairs Administrator for the City of Sanford. Thank you for listening to Sanford Says. You can find this podcast wherever you subscribe to your favorite podcast and on the city website at sanfordfl.gov. Until next time, have a great day. Bye now.